Hello, hello, beautiful people. Beautiful, beautiful people. You're with Tunisia Ali on the Tunisia Ali channel where we talk about sister locks. We talk about beauty tips. We talk about micro locks. Now, let me add that to the mix because they're all types of different micro locks. Sister locks is a type of micro lock. We talk about um, spiritual empowerment, getting your life right. We talk about a potpourri of any and everything that might come up in one of these sessions that we have, okay? So today I'm gonna to be talking about, uh, you gotta excuse me, I'm reaching for something. Today we're gonna to be talking about um, what we want in a lock. It's important to know what you want in a lock because we have to, as the client, any good business person builds their product based upon what the clients need, right? I can create a course, but if it doesn't relate to the needs of my client base, I'm not going to be able to sell that course. So we need to begin to raise awareness. We need to begin to decide what we want in a lock, and we need to find someone who can do whatever it is we want in a lock. And whatever it's called is irrelevant because all of these are micro locks, period. We need to get out of this. these labels. These labels restrict us. Um, we, for example, if we decide to call somebody a narcissist, we can't see the narcissist qualities within ourselves. If we call somebody ADHD or we say you don't listen, we label them and we separate them from us and then we can't see the ways in which we don't listen. So these labels we got to start dispensing with, they have their place in our lives, but they're taking up too much space in our life. So every time you want to point at something and label it, that person is judgmental. Look within yourself and see where you're judgmental. That person talks too much. Look within yourself and see where maybe you are talking too much. Maybe it's with your children. Maybe it's somewhere else. Looking within. So anyway, if you have not purchased my book, Manifesting Your Masterpiece, it's time for you to get that in. Go on Amazon or Barnes & Noble. Get this book. Allow this book to help you shed some things that don't work for you in your life anymore to raise your vibration and to live a more aligned life and to live a life that helps you to be more authentic and be more of who you are. This is not a chapter book. It's a book with a series of daily quotes that give you something to think about every day, or maybe you take a quote a week to focus on to get yourself where it is that you're going. Because believe me, you're going somewhere from wherever it is that you currently are. So yeah, let's talk about what we want in a lock because that's kind of important. And um, as I'm doing that, I'm going to figure out what the message is for us today that are watching this video because there's always a message that's synchronistic that comes to us at the right time based upon where we are. So we got something to do about places and then we have the heart, okay? We have the heart, but I don't know if this is a card. Yes, yeah, the heart, y'all. So we got to talk about emotions today. We got to talk about... Um, stuff that's related to the heart chakra, um, love, grief, forgiveness, unforgiveness, um, holding grudges, being a jackass, having high blood pressure, high blood pressure, having clogged arteries, um, having upper respiratory issues, having an asthma, all of that is related to the heart chakra. So we'll talk about that in a minute. I got some things that I want to say as to what I want in a lock, Titian or a lock. Right now, let's just talk about a lock. What we want, no, let, you know what? Let's talk about what we want in a lock and a lock, Titian, because I think that's kind of really what it is. They kind of go together, right? Because I'm not locking my own hair. I'm not trying to come up with a proprietary lock or a proprietary tool. If you are, then that's beautiful. But let's talk about what we want in a lock experience, okay? I can tell you what I want. Number one, I want a loctician that values me as a client, which means she's patient with me. She's able to dialogue with me. She listens to my concerns. She makes me feel welcome when I come into her facility, meaning she smiles. She stops what she's doing and she's warm. She acknowledges me. That's what I want in a loctician. Um, what do you want in a loctician? What is most important to you? What are you getting those things in the loctician experience that you have? 
if you're not getting that, then you have to dialogue with your loctician and give her the opportunity to treat you that way. She deserves that. She's working in your hair. She's putting her energy in your hair. Maybe ultimately she's a loving person, but she has a bad day every 10 weeks when you come in there. <laughs> Who knows? But that's what I want from a loctician. Number two, I want a loctician that has professional attributes, meaning when I come and my hair is supposed to be done at a certain time, she does my hair at that time. I want a loctician when I come, she's not eating and she's not putting grease from food in my hair. I want a loctician whose environment is uplifting when I come in. I went into Neka Salon a few weeks ago when I got my most recent retie. She's my second backup loctician. The place smelled of eucalyptus and essential oils. It was clean. The air was fresh. She had a bottle of disinfectant in her hand with baby wipes and she was cleaning her environment, which let me know she was COVID conscious. All of these things made me feel good. That's a level of professionalism. Her prices aren't changing every time I look up. Um, she, uh, is not on the phone all the time or very seldom is she on the phone when I'm getting my hair done. She lets those calls go through. She is a professional. I feel as though I'm the most important person on the planet when I'm with her. And that should be your situation. You shouldn't have 10 kids running around in the, in the place when you're getting your hair done. You shouldn't have to worry about somebody stripping fried chicken while you're getting your hair done. You shouldn't have to worry about somebody um, coming to you doing your hair in their pajamas. Maybe they didn't have time to take a bath. That's not professionalism. It's not professional for someone to call you in at 8 and you don't and they don't start on you till 9, 30, 10 o'clock. That's not professionalism. I want professionalism. Number three, what do I want? I need flexibility in thinking. I, I can't deal with rigid people. I can deal with somebody who's rigidly flexible. <laughs> I tend to have some rigidity within myself. That's my shadow aspect. So I tend to be able to point that out in other people. I need to see it more in myself. But the type of rigidity that I'm talking about is a type of rigidity that says, um, because I was told you have to put oil in your hair, even though it doesn't make sense and your hair is breaking and your scalp has layers of dandruff, that are falling on your shirt and I can see them because they are big as potato chips, I'm still going to tell you that you don't need oil in your hair because that's what I was told and I'm a robot. I don't need robots. I don't do well with robots. Why? Because I'm not a robot. I'm not a ritualistic person. You can't put me in a box, put the top on, there's no freaking windows, there's no ladder, I can't get out. And then I live my life in this box because you told me this is what I needed to believe. This is how I needed to do things. These are the rituals I need to follow. If I don't read this page, I'm going to hell. If I don't read that page, I can't make it to college. If I don't get this test, this score on a certain test, I can't be a wealthy person. I, I don't think like that. I was not created like that. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I'm so grateful. That's not my type of person. So I need a loctician who's more aligned like that. Somebody who's rigid and is in the box and is telling me I need to come in every four weeks for a retightening when they can see I'm going bald and I'm losing my hair. I don't need somebody like that. And neither do you. When I cover them three things, those are the main things I need. What do I need in a lock? I need a lock that's small. Okay, I'm willing to deal with the consequences of getting older and them dropping out. Right now, at this most beautiful time of my life, that's what I think. I need a small lock. I don't want no big locks. So if Sister Locks brand says I got to have them big up here, small here, big over here, small back there, that ain't the brand for me, baby. And it ain't the brand for you because I need flexibility. I need somebody who can look at my hair like my loctician said, When I wanted her to split some of these bigger locks up in here, she didn't say, oh, you're not going to have a sister locks brand. You're not going to have a grid. You're not this. You're not that. She didn't say all that. She recognized that I am the master of my fate when it comes to my hair. I get to damn well decide what I want. It's her job to serve me. It's her job to be flexible enough to think outside of the box to give me what I want. So she split the damn locks for me. And I know it messed up the so-called grid, but I don't give a damn. Because I know when y'all look at my hair, they look good, right? I know when I look at them, I'm satisfied with them. And if you don't think they look good, then don't split your locks. That's your prerogative. It's my prerogative. 
Y'all remember that song by, um, <laughs> was it New Edition? So it's time for a new edition. God dang it, it's time for a new edition. We're going to take a break from the next list and let's look at this heart chakra stuff. It's possible from an imaginal point of view to sense the heart as a place. Either we are there within the realm of expansion and compassion or we have drifted somewhere else. There is no in-between. It is common for us to leave this archetypal center without realizing it as the world with its seductive twists and turns offers a frequent departure. We may even become a stranger to the landscape of the heart. Now, you got to think out of the box. There are times when you're in your heart and you feel compassionate. And then there are times when you're mean as hell and you don't give a damn about the world. So we're talking about being in the heart space and not being in the heart space. Seeing the heart as a place meaning I feel open and happy when I'm home, but when I travel to someone else's house, I don't feel open and happy. I got to listen to my heart. That's not where I'm supposed to be. We're thinking outside the box. We're thinking creatively. We're recognizing that the heart is not only a physical organ, as in a place, it's also a spiritual organ, and it is where the light of God resides. And so if our heart becomes darkened, through so-called sin or being out of alignment with self, not living the life that we are supposed to live or not being authentic, then we're, our heart is going to grieve. And it may grieve as in we may have heartache, but it can also grieve by us developing hypertension, high blood pressure, and all of the other physical things. Everything has a physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and these days, financial outcome. So we're looking at all the different levels. Very, very interesting. The seat of the heart is often reclaimed by nature, music, dance, and the presence of children or animals, meaning the seat of the heart is those things that make you happy. If your heart is grieving right now, if you have dealt with high blood pressure, if you have um, heart pain, if you are dealing with high cholesterol, you've had instances in your life where you haven't been happy. We all have. If your heart aches, if you are sad, if you are grieving, if you are holding grudges, if you haven't forgiven yourself, it's going to cause your heart to ache. The things that cause you your heart not to ache are being outside, being in creation, being around your grandchildren, appreciating your children, having relationships with people in your life that you love, doing good in the world. Find the ways that you can do more good in the world and it will help heal your heart. This card encourages us to move past the layers of life's tangles and knots and enter the wild and sacred center of the self. The most precious throne in the galaxy is awaiting your return. Heart energy. Okay? This is telling you, and it's a card in here. Some of you, if I pull out this card, y'all are going to call me a demon. I don't know how, but anyway, that's your business. You're entitled to that. But for those of you who can think outside the box, there's a card in here that has that message. And if I pull that card for the week, I know I need to work on my heart. And I need to work on my relationships. I need to work on the ways that I show love because we can get so caught up in what we're doing that it takes a verbal reminder, either from someone that loves us or something we read in the Bible, something we might read in the Quran, something we might read in a Hindi or a Buddha text, something I might read in this book or the multitude of other self-help books that somebody else may put something in that God has drawn me to in order to get a particular message. We're thinking big and we're thinking outside the box. What else do I want in a lock? Well, I need a lock that accommodates my 4C hair or my 4B hair or my 4A hair, like the Sister Locks brand. Her lock, um, that's the beauty of that particular brand she makes an accommodation for the type of hair that someone has right maybe they have a a, a, a a kinky pattern in their hair which is considered i don't know what sophia said 4c or something then they need a certain quality of lock maybe their hair is softer in certain areas and it might unravel so i have the particular lock that works for my hair. I don't know because I didn't attend the training, but what I will tell you is I need a lock that accommodates the various shades of my beautiful hair. I might need a certain lock up here, y'all, and I need a certain one back there. You tell me if the Sister Locks brand accommodates that. The fact that I have a certain texture of hair up here and a certain texture back there. Wouldn't you like a loctician consultant that had the skill level to look at your hair 
and be able to detect, okay, back here you need this particular type. I have a reverse four. Back here you need a reverse four, but up there where it's kinky as hell, you need this particular lock. And right here in the center where you have this texture of hair, you need that particular lock. So what type of lock do you need? What type of loctician do you need? This video is getting kind of long. This is my fourth or fifth video this morning because I'm trying to get ahead while I'm in um, this space that I'm in. Being quarantined is wonderful because it's giving me time to catch up. I'm not out there chasing coins right now or giving services outside of myself. I'm actually catching up with the other things that give me a lot of uh, gratitude, which is serving people for free and giving of myself. Um, we have to have a balance of both. If I did this all day, I couldn't pay my bills. I do the other stuff and I love it and I do it so much. Didn't mean to stick a birdie. I do so much of it that it feels like a hobby. And I have to remember my, remember that people don't do hobbies for 12 hours a day. People work for 12 hours a day. I have to remind myself of that. So when I when God puts me in these spaces where I have to be quiet and silent and meditate and I get my prophetic dreams and I get my visions and, and God directs my life in a certain way, I listen. And I'm grateful for these times because I know when I get off this timeline and I get back to that other parallel universe, I'm going to be going at it again. But each time I go into this darker place that causes me to have to go within, I have to know that it's an initiation. And when I come back up out of that water like a whale, coming up out of that water or like a dolphin, okay, coming up and rising up, then I'm not going to go down again the same way I went down before because I'm supposed to have learned something, which means I have to apply it, right? So yeah, this is where I am. So let's see. I'm going to give one more thing that I can think of that I wanted a lock or a loctician. I would like a loctician who is knowledgeable about the ways that locks and their installation and their maintenance can harm my hair. Because if she's knowledgeable about those things, she's likely to do uh, the types of things or perform the kinds of services that reflect that level of expertise and knowledge, such as make sure that she allow, allots a certain amount of time for my retightenings. Instead of trying to do them in two and three hours, maybe she does it in five or six hours. Maybe that means I have to pay her more. Hey, I'm okay with that. People got to make a living. Look at the look at what you pay for that stupid cell phone, and it's bringing nothing but chaos and an overload of information into your life. I'll pay 30 extra bucks per hour for an extra two or three hours. If it means in the long run, I'm going to have more of my hair. Um services like dying being told that you can dye your hair and it's going to be okay and you think that you're not going to experience any fallout whether it's natural whether it's henna whether i'm using uh sorrel to color my hair sorrel whether i'm using um blueberries or cranberry juice to stain my hair whatever it is it's got some type of impact because it's something different than what god gave me so just be up open just tell me the real deal. Tell me the truth. So when my ends start falling off or when I do this to my ends and I lose them, I'm not ready to come over there and butcher you up or I'm not upset with somebody. Be honest with me about the consequences of my services or be well versed enough in and knowledgeable enough about the services that I'm asking you about that if you don't know how to do it and you don't know what you're talking about, then don't tell me to, that I can use you to do the service. Just tell me, hey, I don't, I'm not, I'm not well versed enough in that. I have people call me in my healing business and ask me to do some crazy stuff with some magic and some spells. I don't do that type of stuff. I don't, I don't do no spells. I'm not into that type of thing. If you want that, go find somebody else to do that. I had somebody come to me one time specifically telling me, I want to know the future about this. I want to know, uh-uh, I'm not the reader for you. If you come into me and you think I'm going to use these cards to tell you about a definitive future, I can tell you if, what it is that you're doing in your life that if you keep doing it, what it's going to lead to. I can tell you that without the cards. But if you want me to tell you what day and time something is going to happen, that ain't my job. That's God's job, and that's the job that God wants to give people to do. I'm not in that business, and I'm going to tell you from the get-up, I'm not in that business, and I'm not going to take your money, and I'm going to tell you quite clearly, I don't think I'm the reader for you because that's what you're looking for. Those aren't the type of readings I specialize in. I specialize in self-awareness readings. That's what I do. That's what I do well, so that's what I'm going to specialize in. Okay, 
So a, a, a lactician who can um, ensure that she doesn't tighten my hair too tight and that she's not so concerned about the grid and when I have to come back for my next retightening, that these things are so tight to my skull that when I go to bed at night, my hair is pulling and I have a headache. And last but not least, a loctician who's light-handed and who remembers what it feels like to be three or four years old having your grandmother or the beautician do your hair and you crying because it was painful and nobody was listening to you. Getting our hair done, y'all, is not supposed to be painful. It never was supposed to be painful. It never should be painful, nor should you ever have to be in a situation where you're sitting in the chair of someone and you feel as though you're three years old and you cannot speak up for yourself. What do you want from your loctician? Leave me a comment. Don't just watch this video and not leave me a comment. Don't just take a look at this book and want it, but not buy it. Buy this book. This is how you support what I do. This is how you give back. As you leave the channel feeling or leave the, the video feeling invigorated, give back. This is the way you ensure the law of giving and receiving. This is the way you do your charitable work. If you like the video, share it show it to someone. If you have a loctician that you would like to have her watch this because I don't know, share it. If you want to make a comment, share it. Speak about it. Be the hero in your life. I am Tunisia Ali, helping you to gain clarity, helping you to heal and clear energetic and emotional blockages, helping you to expand your mind or up-level your mindset so that you can manifest the glory of God that is within you. That is what good living is about. That is what quality of life is about. This is what you came here to do. This is what you deserve to be able to do. This is what you need to give yourself permission to do. And this is what you should not allow anyone to take from you. If you are interested in a self-awareness, a life, a career, or a relationship reading, reach out to me. If you're interested in spiritual mentoring or life coaching, reach out to me. If you're interested in hypnotherapy, hypno-counseling, uh, hypnosis, reach out to me. If you are interested in um, taking online classes to learn how to read Tarot and Oracle, reach out to me, get the description information that is in the little box underneath the video by clicking that down arrow and get in touch with me in one shape or form. Do not, I repeat, do not contact me ever asking me for advice about your locks. I am not a loctician consultant. I am not a cosmetologist and I am not you. My job is to empower you to think and to empower you to know that you have all the answers that you ever sought. So you don't need to get them from me. If you want something that is going to revitalize, repair, soften, heal your hair and allow it to grow beyond your wildest dreams. My hair is longer than anybody that I know who had the same length hair of me or hair as me or who had locks much longer than me. My hair growth has outpaced them. It is because of this. My hair is healthy. It has gotten thicker. I am not suffering from a thinning at my crown or anywhere else. Is this the price of something you can get it for at the beauty supply store? No. Is this a high-end product? Yes. If you're not willing to pay for quality, don't waste your time this product a lot of good high-end and high-priced ingredients go into this so this product is for the person that's willing to invest in themselves who loves themselves who's willing to invest in them um the the quality of the things that they put on their body and that they put into their body uh, again i'm tunisia ali contact me with information in the description i love y'all i love y'all more every day and i'm so thankful for being quarantined because it's giving me even a chance to do some exercise and okay i've been working out my legs because my muscles and things have gotten weak not only because i'm getting older but because of the type of lifestyle i lead i've lived a life out of balance for many years which is why i talk about the importance of balance which is why i talk about how important it is to try and incorporate more balance into your life because I'm paying for the mistakes that I've made in the past. Just like you're paying for yours, nobody gets out alive. So I'll see y'all around for the next video. Much love to you. I wish, I'm wishing you peace, prosperity, productivity, 
and anything else that starts with a P that you think is going to enrich your world. Bye.